A recent Echo update allows you to use your location to trigger routines and reminders on your devices and in the app. I'm going to show you how. Hi, my name is Craig. If you're new here, welcome. This is part of my weekly Echo series. If you'd like to learn more about the Echoes, check out the description. I'll put a link in there. Please use those links. They definitely help the channel out. This is week number 51 of my 52 week Echo video series. If you watch some of the others, thank you. If you're regular around here, you realize I'm not in my usual shooting location. That's because I'm visiting some family in Massachusetts for the holidays. In this video, I'm not going to be using my device a lot. I'm really going to show you how this works and how to set it up through the app. You can use your location to trigger a routine or reminder. So how does this work? The app in your mobile device uses the GPS of your phone to determine where you're at. Now in order to use this, you do have to give permission to your device to always be able to use your location. So the first time you try to set up a location-based reminder, it will prompt you on iPhones to uh, go in and change the settings to always allow the app to use your location. So why would you use this? Let's say you want to have a reminder when you leave work to pick up some stuff at the store or you want to be reminded when you get in the house that you need to take the trash cans out that night. Maybe you want to trigger a routine once you start heading home that turns on the lights, starts some music, and sets the temperature the way you want. Or you're leaving the house and you want to shut everything down for you. Let's start off setting some reminders based on locations. The first way you could set a reminder based on a location is using your voice. Since I'm not using my device a lot in this video, I'm going to use the action button just to get it to start listening. Remind me when I get home to put the trash cans out. Now to get that reminder at home, it's using my location that I set up before. And actually when I set this up, it asked me if my home address was the one that my device is registered under. But instead of you guys hearing my home address, I already left that address in there. Let me show you on the app how to actually set up your locations for home, work, and any other location you want. To set a location, you'll go under settings in the app, select settings at the bottom, select your locations, and here you can add your home address, work address, and any other location you want. To set a location-based reminder on your phone, you can go to the three lines on top, go to reminders and alarms, select add a reminder. Here you'll select what device you want to be reminded on. Let's say I want to be reminded on the bedroom device that I would select up top. Next you'll hit add a reminder. And you'll say, this is put out trash cans. Now I'll pick add a location. And now I can add a location. And right now it's showing me the current location. If I had, I could set my home address, set my work address, or manage my locations in the settings. I'm going to just say current address. Just so I'm not showing where my home address is. Hit next. We'll call this hotel. And we'll save that. And now my choice is when I, I could pick arrive or leave. In this case, I want to arrive. And now, right now, it's only going to remind me once. Let's say I need to be reminded every time I arrive. I could specify specific days. So let's just say, uh, turn on specific days, select only on Tuesdays, because trash comes on Wednesdays. Uh, notifies on this phone. And now I'll hit save. I've now created a reminder to put out the trash cans when I get to the hotel on Tuesdays. I'm going to have to delete that. But that's how you set up a reminder on your phone. Now let's look at setting up a location-based routine. This you're going to need to use your mobile device. First, you'll go into the app, click the three lines on top, select routines. Let's write a new routine. Hit plus. When this happens, we'll hit plus. We'll pick arrive or leave. I'm going to select the hotel address at the bottom. And this will happen when I arrive at it. We'll hit save. This can be any time. Or you can actually change that and pick a range of time that maybe you want this to happen. Maybe you want it to only happen between 12 p.m. and 
10 p.m. every day, let's say. You could also pick a time how long that it'll wait before it'll trigger that routine again. You can go up to 12 hours so that it won't do this routine again within 12 hours. So maybe once you come home, just because you leave again, maybe you don't want that routine triggered another time. So let's ignore that. Uh, this is going to happen every day. Let's hit next. Now when I arrive at the hotel every day between 12 and 10 p.m., I could start setting actions. Maybe I want music to play. Let's have some classical music as I come in from Apple Music. Let's have that play for an hour. And now I hit next. Let's add an action that it triggers some devices. So when I get home, it'll turn, let's just select all hue lights. Uh, it'll power them on. We could set the brightness to, brightness will be at 50, and we can set a color if we want. We don't need to set a color. Let's hit next. Maybe I wanna set the thermostat to the temperature I want. Let's hit plus, smart home, control a device, select family room, and now I can adjust my temperature. Let's say I want it at 70 degrees, hit next. And now that routine, when I arrive at home, will turn the family room to 70 degrees, turn my lights on to 50%, and will play some classical music for me. Let's hit save. And now that routine is enabled. It's called Craig's device arrives at hotel. If I wanna go in and edit it, what I can do is change my location. And one of the options here, it's set to arrive. I could use this circle to adjust how far out it triggers it. Right now, it defaults to 513 feet, which is interesting. But maybe I want it a little further out, a little further down the street, let's say. I can adjust that there. I could zoom out on my map take it out as far as I want, and maybe it triggers if I'm anywhere within the circle that far out. Let's just leave that alone. That's it, that's how you write a location-based routine, a reminder. It's another way that Amazon's trying to help automate things in your life to hopefully simplify your life. This is another feature that really is only limited by your imagination. I've shown you a couple of simple routines or reminders with it but there's so much more you can do with this. Do you think you'll use location-based routines or reminders? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of the next video. If you'd like to help support the channel, use the Amazon link in the description. If you do use it, Amazon will kick us back a little. There's also links in there to the merchandise store if you'd like to check that out. I do appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Bye.